Hello my lovely friends, Clarissa here. I am back with another video and this video is going to be about how to correct sagging jaws and sagging neck, loose neck. As you know, this area right here, especially the center, has very little lipids and uh, it goes down very quickly. So I am going to give you three techniques that will help to correct this area and the neck area in eight weeks. And so, but first, my half hug of gratitude, excuse me, my hug of gratitude. Uh, thank you so much for your beautiful comments and your support. And um, so, uh, let's start with the first uh, technique. Um, filming in my cell phone it's kind of uncomfortable because uh, i'm not used to it but because i have a lot of uh, work and uh, so much business to attend girls that uh, the cell phone actually is easier uh, less editing but it's kind of uncomfortable because the lighting is sometimes not proper or the definition of the video so forgive me if the definition of the video is kind of like mediocre so uh let's start with the technique okay so we're going to um place the tone left and right and then the tone you stick out the tone and try to lift the tone up and then place the tone in the front uh, lower teeth like that and all these exercises trying to smile <clears throat> excuse me trying to smile and uh also and the second technique i am probably going to be using the tone so just for the ones who don't know the tone when you do facial workouts uh it's a powerful a uh, tool to be able uh to change the structure of your facial muscles and the more you hold uh, and trying to smile, the more resistance uh, you will create uh, to uh, give a transformation uh, to the structures of your muscles. So try to hold it uh, and uh, try to smile and create the more resistance uh, you can uh, to uh, give volume to those muscles because when the muscles uh, become you know, with this volume, it's like a big cushion that makes the skin more taut. And so uh, let's start. All right, so we're going to um, uh, place the tone on the right, uh, left side first. Okay, like this. Try to smile. Okay, I cannot blame my step. Let's start it again. Okay, so you're going to place uh, the tone on the left side. So it's working your jaw muscles and your neck muscles. Uh, somehow your neck muscles but i'm going to show you one for uh the neck muscles that is going to really make a change in your neck area so um this exercise is very easy but if you don't put resistance it's not going to be a transformation of the muscle structure so let's let's repeat it again hold it smile Take a deep breath. Okay, so now what we're going to do is this is a very powerful uh, exercise. It's using uh, 
in this case I'm using this uh, glass bottle I sterilize it it's um, you know perfect size of for uh, placing in your mouth so you want to place in your mouth and you're going to try to smile with resistance and this this area is gonna work really nice oh but first I have to tell you you have to lift your chin area like that with the bottle like that okay so Okay, with these exercises, what you're going to do is about starting 30 to 50 to 100. If you're new, start with 30. If you are like a beginner and then you go ahead and increase it to 50 after like after uh, two months and then 100. And so now the other exercise that I'm going to show you is like making your lips like an O, like that, or like this. And then you try to smile and place the tone on the roof of your mouth. Try to smile with resistance and holding it like this. Like this. It's like touching the ceiling, kissing the ceiling. <sighs> Take a deep breath. It's very, very effective, but if you put the resistance. Now, I am going to give you a... a a mask for the decollete area and this mask it's going to help you put lipids into this the neck area which it's a must to have lipids there because there is very little lipids the skin is really thin and then what you're going to do is after you apply the mask uh, just start the exercises or you could just uh first do the exercises and then apply the mask um okay so you're going to take about uh one tablespoon of uh castor oil castor oil is going to give you those lipids uh, it has the good fatty essential oils it's a really thick oil that has a lot of good lipids um, castor oil will help to uh, hold water into the skin layers. It will help uh, to prevent escaping water from the uh, from the layers of the skin. And also, according to the studies, it helps with the stimulation of uh, collagen. And uh, our skin uh, naturally has the uh, essential fatty acids so we need always to replace it by um, doing in, uh, external and internal uh, treatments internally taking the ceramides the fish oils and anything that has good lipids and um, also castor oil uh, it's very good uh, with uh, scars treating uh, scars you know the wrinkles that we get in our skin are like scars because the collagen has been broken, has been disturbed. So castor oil is very good for treating uh, that type of condition. Now, you uh, the castor oil um, is one tablespoon and then you're going to mix it with one teaspoon of honey organic honey now the organic honey it's going to bring water 
uh, into the skin cells, the, uh, the layers of the skin, while uh, the castor oil is going to help to prevent, to, to escape water uh, from the layers of the skin. And so castor oil, uh, it's a great combination with uh, the honey. Honey is a natural hydrator, not just for external use, but also an internal hydrator, especially when you take it in the morning, uh, uh, you know, warm water, 24 ounces of water with honey, lemon, a, pin a pinch of cayenne pepper, uh, incredible hydration uh, for your internal organs, for your, all, for your whole body. And um, the, the, the cayenne pepper gives oxygenation to the body. Okay, so with that mixture, you uh, add 20 drops of abyssinian oil or emo oil either. Uh, as you know, abyssinian oil helps with, uh, uh, how could I say? Abyssinian oil is an oil that has the ability uh, to uh, help penetrate uh, other ingredients um, into the skin. Uh, the same thing, emo oil. So those uh, oils, um, act like a transdermal, uh, has a transdermal action. And so apply the mixture uh, for about 45 minutes. B but first, what you're going to do, it is um, when you apply it, wait for uh, about 15 minutes and then get a hot towel. And no, uh, I mean, wet hot towel uh, or I'm not gonna suggest putting a microwave because I don't even use microwave, but it's better with with the water, a hot towel, a squeeze it good the water and apply it immediately on top of the uh, mixture, the the mask, the neck mask. And then uh, leave it until it cools off, like about 10 minutes, and then continue leaving the mask on until, you know, um, 35 more minutes. Uh, so the whole total is uh, 45 minutes. Uh, sometimes I leave it for an hour. And it is an uh, awesome treatment to give those lipids and to give the water into the skin and very rejuvenating. You could do it for your whole face if you want to. Okay, girls, um, this is the video for today and I'll see you. You take care. Bye. Bye-bye. God bless you. Stay beautiful. Bye.